here in this code sample we can find the function clerk, the function manager, and the function teacher. Each one of these functions can be used to create a new object. We can simply code new manager or new clerk or new teacher and get a new object with uh, properties just as the code within the function indicates. Over here we have a function. Um, this code defines an anonymous function. Employees factory is actually a function or to be more precise this variable and we could of course specify var it is a good practice to specify var when defining a new variable uh, this variable is assigned with a reference for an object which is also a function now if you refer the prototype property uh, it the function as as you can see employees factory holds a reference for an object which is a function so we can refer the property prototype in that object any property we add to the prototype uh, will be in every object instantiated by calling this function meaning that over here the variable factory is actually assigned with the reference for a new object the function employees factory uh, worked on and because prototype of employees factory as the property create employee create employee is a property the new object factory or let's be more precise the new object its reference was assigned to factory as so we could write factory dot create employee simply calling the function or let's say the property create employee that exists in the object its reference was assigned to factory it exists because the object its reference was assigned to the factory variable was created by uh, specifying the, the keyword new together with the name of the function here we introduced changes into its prototype therefore we can write factory dot uh, create employee calling the create employee create employee is the factory method here in this code sample and that method receives uh, an object and according to the uh, employee type property in that object it assigns the employee constructor variable with the relevant uh, constructor function and then when this specific code is executed create employee actually returns a reference for a new object that clerk or manager or teacher one of these three functions uh, was invoked on and that's why we can use instance of and check whether person was assigned uh, with a reference for an object on which the manager function was invoked when it was created so let's execute this code sample and get uh, true if we change that into teacher for example we should get false the same with a uh, clerk so let's stay with manager and get tool.